So what are fundamental matrix and essential matrix? The fundamental matrix and the essential matrix are two matrices which are frequently used in um, stereo geometry whenever you want to describe geometric relations between pairs of images, either recorded from a stereo camera or from a monocular camera moving through the environment. And the fundamental matrix is used for uncalibrated cameras, whereas the essential matrix is used for calibrated cameras. And the matrices contain all the information about the relative orientation that can be extracted from correspondences alone. So I don't assume any knowledge about the scene, for example, uh, what I picture or how large objects are. I only have corresponding points. So I know, given a point in image number one, what is a corresponding point in image number two. Both matrices, F and E, are so-called homogeneous matrices. They are three by three matrices and they have a rank deficiency. Um, that means they are only of rank 2 and this rank 2 is something, a property is something that is used for formulating the so-called coplanarity constraint. So a constraint that must hold four corresponding points. So if this is my coplanarity constraint expressed in this simple form, um, x um, prime is a point in image number 1, x double prime is a point in image number 2, and we assume this is the pixel coordinate of the same point projected into both images, then with this equation I can express the so-called coplanarity constraint that must hold for all corresponding points. And we can do the same for the essential matrix, except that we then have our points in our camera coordinate system, not in the pixel coordinate system. Um, so that means we can formulate this coplanarity constraint, constraint um, that must hold for all corresponding points. And this is also the way how we can estimate the matrix E and F. So given corresponding points, um, and considering F and E as unknowns, we can build a system of linear equations and come up with an homogeneous system that we then need to solve and that then will give us our fundamental matrix or essential matrix. And this can be done using the so-called eight-point algorithm. So given eight corresponding points, I can estimate F and E in a rather straightforward fashion. If I'm working with calibrated cameras, so I'm only interested in E, um, there is a, even a better or more advanced algorithm, which is the five-point algorithm proposed by Nister, um, which is today the gold standard and requires only five-point pairs for computing E. Um, once I have E, I can then decompose E and compute the rotation matrix, which tells me how is camera two oriented with respect to camera number one and I get um, the baseline vector, but only its direction, not its length. So I know where camera two is located with respect to camera one, but I don't know how far that camera is away. So this is basically the scale ambiguity that I have. So um, given I have corresponding points, I can compute the matrix E and F. That's what I just told you. Um, but given that I know the matrix, I can also simplify my search for correspondences. So given I have, let's say, the, I know the essential matrix and I have a point in image number one, I can um, locate the point in image number two in the sense that I don't need to search the whole image. I know that this point will lie along one single line in the image, the so-called um, epipolar line. And so knowing the orientation parameters or knowing E and F substantially helps me to reduce my search for corresponding points in the other image. So correspondence, corresponding points can be used to estimate the matrices, but if I know the matrices, I can also use them to um, simplify my search for corresponding points. The essential matrix has five degrees of freedom, so encodes rotation and translation parameters, and the fundamental matrix has seven degrees of freedom because it additionally contains some information about the calibration parameters which are encoded in this matrix. But for both of them holds, they can't express all the parameters, only a subset of the parameters and exactly those parameters that I can estimate from corresponding points alone. Thank you.